spot. I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't. Oh, I'll find you. Lady Cat, too scared? Gonna do you up!
How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... Oh no. I, I, I gotta smooth this over fast. Life and limb. An old private eye. I'm tracking a murderer. The bastard who shot my wife took my son. I don't even have a clue who he is or, or where he's gone. So you need a little angel of vengeance, huh? Well, I don't usually go after blood money, but I guess I can make an exception. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Malone's crew here used to be small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. Until they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around in charge. Won't be able to pick this.
doors on the fridge. Let me see if I can get it open. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Who's there? Take it low! Fire! Go. Which one of you lost him, huh? More stairs? Who built this damn vault? A fitness instructor? Try to give me Get him alone, and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic. Don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big, fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing game, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. A shame you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to death, shall I? Should've left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. 
All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out? That wasn't the plan originally, but hey, tempting. Hey, I'm the one in charge here. You got something to say? Say it to me. Look at yourself. Darla's playing you for a sap. You're better than this. You're better than her. No one tells Skinny Malone how to run his affairs. I've had enough of this. Time for the hard goodbye. <laughs> Nick. Are you ready to talk? How do you know to find me down in that old vault? Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about tracking down a murderer. How he took your son. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City.
up here, on the balcony. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please! Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. I'm just passing through. Fair enough. But the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? And those raiders want us all dead, nah, including that you. Ain't it. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Sorry. Sounds rough. Huh. Thanks. Nah, that it's ain't good it. to meet someone who really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But... God damn it. Well, we do have one idea. That's it? It's gonna walk away? Careful, kid. <laughs> That's true. We could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. God damn it. Please, go on. Sorry. Thank you. Sure. Let's hear it. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well... Looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. That's some serious protection. Oh, it gets better. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrate. Do that, 
and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Somebody up here!
Lock's really strong. this. Take it easy, mama. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. The feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did. And we owe you our lives. So here, it ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. I'll think about it. Before you leave, kid, a word about the journey you're about to start on, because I seen your destiny, and I know your pain. Okay, I'm listening. You're a man out of time, out of hope, but all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. I'm listening. Look, kid, I know how I sound. The sight, it's weird. And it ain't always clear, but your son's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth, Diamond City, the biggest settlement around. I've been to Diamond City already. I need more, please. Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. 
We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can oh, hold on, hold on. Worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh, okay. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. Fuck you, Cross. So, what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City. Let's see what you've got. Oh, I have a little bit of everything. I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. Let's see what you got. A little bit of everything.
don't think I can pick this. decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? Oh, good. I was hoping for a chance to rescue some more helpless villagers. It's not that people are helpless. They just need someone to give them a helping hand sometimes. That's what the Minutemen are supposed to be all about. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Help out. Or get lost. survived an atomic war. Well, I have picked up a few minor scratches and, dare I say, stains. But all in all, the inner workings are top-notch. And I see you've taken up a new look. I take it the missus approves. Where is the wife, by the way? They... They killed her. Heavens, no. Such a tragedy. If I could feel, I would be quite distraught over the news. And young Sean? What of your son? He's been kidnapped. But I'm gonna find him. Sir, this news, this terrible news. You must let me assist you in the search for young Sean. I simply cannot remain here knowing the lad is in danger. I'd like to trade some items. Of course. Sanctuary. I knew you'd join us here, kid. Your energy is tied to this uh, hey. place. Do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner.
left alone. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Lou? My favorite ballpark's become a shanty town. So, today's been great. Interesting you mentioning that, seeing as you're from a vault. Yeah, you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and that fish out of water look? Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? It was just me and a thousand guinea pigs. They turned carnivorous. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to go with the satirical approach to this article. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? I've been having too much fun blowing things up to think about it. Gotta make my job hard for me, huh? All right, if that's the quote, that's the quote. Now, the uh, big question. Why come to Diamond City? You're looking for someone, aren't you? Who is it? My son, Sean was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. <sighs> as heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Find who's responsible and make them pay. Simple as that. I'll take anger over apathy any day. Good quote. Thanks, Blue. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Piper. Heading my way? Let's trade. This is what I've got. are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. Probably not. Some guy came into town, so he picked up a weird distress call. I can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout inn. Wanna do something fun? 
Run the bases. Trust me. Professor, I have a new theory about how the Institute makes the sense. Oh, no. 